took form in the vision of our founding fathers as they fashioned a nation where all people might live as one. We thank you, Father, for your blessings in the past and for that, with your help, we must yet achieve. Almighty God, our nation, as we celebrate our 74th Republic Day and make it true to the ideals of freedom and justice and brotherhood for all, make it great. Guard our country from war, from fire and wind, from compromise, fear and confusion. Be close to our President, our Prime Minister, our Home Minister, all the Governors and Chief Ministers and all the Administrative Officers of our country. Give them wisdom and courage as they ponder decisions affecting peace and the future of our great country. I also pray to you for our dear Principal, Father Tom Sumar and our Headmaster, Father Joy Madhuri that you give them the courage to face whatever challenges that lie ahead as well as the patience to deal with them in a peaceful manner. And I ask that you grant them peace and enlightenment so that they may always be able to see your plan for us. I pray to you, Heavenly Father, for our Academy Supervisor, Mr. Madan, our staff coordinator, Mr. Jyoti Rube, for all staff members and students. May your gracious spirit inspire us to work together to meet the challenges of our times. I make this prayer in the precious name of Christ our Lord. Amen.
Was soll ich denn? Brett! Brett! Stop! Now I call upon the stage the college captain Antarish Jolly to address the gathering. देश भक्तों के बलिदानों से आजाद हुए हैं हम कोई कहे कौन हो तो तो गर्व से कहेंगे भारतीय हम गुड मॉर्निंग रेस्पेक्टेड रेवरेंड फादर टीचर्स चीफ गेस्ट एंड टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आई विश ईच एंड एवरी वन अ वेरी हैप्पी पब्लिक डे अ डे विच रिमाइंड अस दैट फ्रीडम इज इन आर माइंड स्ट्रेंथ इज इन आर हार्ट प्योरनेस इन आर ब्लड प्राइड इन आर सोल एंड जी इन ऑल आर वर्ल्ड As we have gathered here to commemorate the 74th Republic Day of India, we as Indians should pledge to preserve the real meaning, status, and prestige of our constitution. Such a vow is not specifically meant for the day, but the opposing attributes should be inculcated in the DNA of each and every citizen. It was primarily the tremendous contribution of all our freedom fighters who blessed us with everlasting freedom. It was then when our constitution was scripted and came into existence on 26th of January 1950. The freedom and rights that we enjoy today as the citizens of India, not to mention the democratic setup, we owe it entirely to our constitution and to all the people who created this historic thing. Much has been sacrificed by our freedom fighters to gain independence. They would have only enjoyed the fruits of freedom. Instead, they took an initiative, a vision to remove discrimination. At the apex of India was the government of the people, for the people, and by the people, resting the supreme power in our hands, that is, the citizens of India. We must understand the true nature of republic. Republic means people are its true stakeholders. A soldier who guards the Republic of India is a pillar. Mothers nurture the pillars of republic and teachers to instill good values in our republic. Even the politician holding the highest power in the country or a person having minuscule equity is a stakeholder. Ladies and gentlemen, here I would like to highlight two shades from the most cardinal topics of our country. The first one being the G20, the group of 20. India assumed the presidency of G20 grouping from Indonesia on December 1, 2022, and will hold the coveted post for a year. This offers a unique opportunity to India to contribute to the global agenda on pressing issues of international importance. Recently, G20 summit started focusing not only on the macroeconomy and trade, but also on a wide range of global issues which have immense impact on the international economy. India is again strengthening its international prestige. For India, the G20 presidency also marks the beginning of Amrit Kal, the 25-year period beginning from 75th year of independence on 15th of August 2022, leading towards the centenary of its independence, towards a prosperous, developed, and a distinguished society. Below the G20 logo is Bharat, written in Devanagari script. The theme of G20 presidency, Vasudev Kutumbakam, or One Earth, One Family, One Future, is drawn from the Sanskrit text of Mahapanishads. India's foreign policy is focusing on global common goal. Through its leadership, India helps to extend its principles to find sustainable solutions to key sectors like food, energy, climate change, etc. The second and the last topic I would like to share is digitalization of education. The thrust for education has made has been made by the government through several institutions like digital infrastructure for knowledge sharing, learning, also known as Diksha, and various sorts of e-pathshala. The National Achievement Survey of 2021 reported an average learning value of 47 percent across all grades, which will indeed shatter illiteracy in India. With this, ladies and gentlemen, I conclude my speech for the day. I wish each and every one a very happy Republic Day. This was Anurag Chaudhary, the College Chaplain of the Batch of 2023, signing off for the very last time from the podium of Saint Joseph's College, Prayagraj. Thank you, HSC, for each and everything.
Music is the great uniter and incredible force, something that people who differ on everything and anything else can have in common. So let's sit back and enjoy the motivational rendition by Senior College Choir. <laughs>
stories and motivation. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Now, a few words for our chief guest, Mrs. Anjana E. Harris. She is a senior lecturer teaching biology, part of this prestigious institution since 35 years, molding and shaping the careers and futures of thousands of her students and still continuing with the same zeal. Recipient of many awards and the latest being from United College, recognizing her abilities and awarding her with Teacher's Excellence Award. I request ma'am to convey her wishes to all on this auspicious occasion of Republic Day. Good morning and a very happy Republic Day to all. Reverend Father Thomas Kumar, Reverend Father George Madhubadi, my colleagues, workers and dear students. First of all, I would like to thank our dear principal for giving me such a great opportunity to unfurl the national flag and address the gathering in St. Joseph's College, Prayagraj on this auspicious occasion of 24th Republic Day of our nation. We all know that India got its independence on 15th August 1947. But the country didn't have its own constitution. Instead, India was governed by the laws implemented by the British. A committee headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian Constitution, which was adopted on 26th November 1949 and officially came into effect on 26 January 1950. Therefore, this day is an important day in the history of our country as it marks the beginning of a new era. Today is a day to salute our country for everything it has accomplished in these past years. It's a day to honor our freedom fighters and soldiers and people who have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. We are truly blessed to be born in a country like India, which is so rich in heritage and culture. Unity in diversity. Our constitution declares that India is a sovereign, socialist, secular and democratic republic. It assures its citizens of justice, equality, liberty, and fraternity. It also gives us our rights and duties as citizens. Therefore, let us remember that we have much work to do to ensure that the values are upheld and every citizen has access to education healthcare and a fair chance to succeed. It is our collective responsibility to build a better future for all and to create an equitable and prosperous society. Let us renew our commitment to build a strong and vibrant nation that is respected and admired by the world. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I request our principal to present a gift to Mrs. Harris as a token of our love and appreciation. Please put your hands together. In words of Robert Frost, 
Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words. I invite junior section students to recite Hindi patriotic poem. उनको लगेगा हम इसमें तो अदरणीय मुख्य अतिथि जी श्रीमती हैंस हमारे सेंट जोसेफ कॉलेज के प्रधानाचार्य जी रेवरेंड फादर थॉमस कुमार प्रधानाध्यापक फादर जॉर्ज मैरपली अध्यापक महोदयों एवं उपस्थित भाइयों आज हम कक्षा पाँच के विद्यार्थी आपके समक्ष वीर जवानों की याद में हम कुछ पंक्तियाँ प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं आज उन्हीं की वजह से हम सभी आज़ाद भारत में सांस ले रहे हैं कविता का शीर्षक है मत घबराओ वीर जवानों मत घबराओ वीर जवानों I request ma'am to do the honors. I call upon the stage ICSC class 10 overall toppers 2020-21. First position was backed by Ayushman Yadav. Yeah. In position was backed by Antarish Jolly. And for third position, Going. Second position was backed by Antarik Shori. And for the third position, we have Vedaki Shukla and Siddharth Singh. ICSC class 10 overall toppers 2021-22. 
First position was backed by Shubram Basu. Second position was backed by Manan Madani. Third position was backed by Aditya Pandey. Jambu Khanna Award for Highest Marks in ICSC Maths 2021 was backed by Ayushman Yadav. 2022 goes to Manan Madnani. May I now humbly request our beloved principal to address the eagerly waiting audience. Respected team guest, Mrs. Sanjana Harris, Senior Lecturer in Biology of our prestigious institution, Respected Reverend Father, Charles Madakali, our Master, Mr. Nagar, Administrator, Mr. Jyoti Dubey, Staff Coordinator, and all my esteemed teachers and my dear students. First and foremost, I wish you all a very happy 74th Republic Day. As the flex states, be proud to be an Indian. Today was a typical day where everything was against the celebration. The traffic jams all around, the weather forecast and the wet grounds. Despite all these barricades, Blockage, you came for this celebration. That is patriotism. When everything goes on well, when the country is winning, when we have the flags, people think that is patriotism. It is not. When the things are against us, when the situation forbids us, then when we stand to salute the tri flag, that is real patriotism. When the soldiers fought for our country, the freedom fighters, they have one thing in their mind, that is, the country first. And today, we have Mrs. Anjana Harris, who has served the college for so many years, with the same aim, putting the students first, caring for everybody, and caring everybody. Though these two words sound similar, they have got rich meaning in them. Caring for everybody in the class, there are so many students with so many requirements. So you care for everybody as if he is the only student in the class. That is caring for everybody. Now caring everybody is without partiality. I don't distinguish between who is who. For me, all are my children. That is the spirit our country leaders should have today. And each one of us should have today. Country first, and every Indian is my brother and sister. We don't distinguish, we care for everybody, and carry everybody. Today we are enjoying the fruits of our freedom fighters and national leaders who drafted the constitution. And it is our turn now, just like the relay race, to take the lead and have a better country, a prosperous country to the present generation and to the coming generation. By being obedient, to follow all the rules and regulations of the country and respecting the authority. Once again, I wish you all a very happy Republic Day. I thank all the organizing committee members for putting up this show despite all the odds. 
and also for thank all the students and the teachers who have come despite so many problems and blockades and traffic jams to show your patriotism. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, thank you, God bless you. Thank you, Father, for your ever-inspiring words. To conclude this wonderful morning, let us all stand to attention, attention for the college anthem. Thank you.